Right, we got a little update here. Uh, as you can see, uh, we got a little laser level laid up on the frame jig here. And you should be able to see where it's striking a line. This isn't the exact line because I just stabbed it back down here for the video, but we've already marked the lines where everything's level at down here so that we have a good place to get body measurements off of. So we've got that much going on. And then we had some torque boxes to go to a convertible that we refit into the front of the car so we could get all the dimensions right and get the firewall set where it's supposed to be. Because it was half welded and screwed together before and it was in the wrong position. Shake the on the camera there. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> we've got them in there right now though just to get everything jigged up for where the firewall is supposed to be because as I said it was partially welded and screwed together and the bottom flange of the firewall was sticking way too low which was turning the seat supports down and had big huge gaps on everything so nothing was going good there. Been a little slow because it got really hot here in Florida and we have other stuff we've been having to do but uh, there you can see we've put the torque boxes on to the frame it's standing on its nose right now. We've still got to scuff this up. Now that it's starting to cool down a little bit, we're going to scuff it up and epoxy prime everything so that even the inside of the torque boxes will be protected from corrosion in the future. And then uh, sooner or later, once we get that done, we're going to get this thing back on the front of the car and have a complete car again. And then we can go back to the back end of the car. And it's a little dark. Hard to see, but there's a frame rail down there on the ground out of a 67 Mustang that we cut apart. It had really bad roof rot, but we're going to use these two frame rails off of that car to put into the 64 and a half, so it'll have four original parts. Won't be the 64 and a half frame rail, but it's pretty much the same thing. And uh, sooner or later, we can have a good straight car again and start doing some body work to make a Mustang out of it. All right, that's all for today.